So no matter what happens today on this video, you're seeing three idiots trying to start a small block fort. Still can't get the damn thing started. How tough could it be, right? Rotates you got compression, electricity, fuel. Counterclockwise. Yeah, we'll see. Counterclockwise so, now. So we'll see. Clockwise. Okay, so we're here. Dave's got his. Look at this thing. 302 cubic inches, a small block Ford beast. We're gonna fire this thing up after you put some AFR 185s on here. We won't talk about the wrong head gaskets and how he dumped in coolant and went all what? over the ground. We're just gonna ignore that. Dave, any comments on that? Not today. Not today, okay. Okay, <laughs> hey, let's try just a teeny bit more. Get that okay, so we're gonna get a little more advanced. Well, I'm going to time it while you do it, too. Yeah, see, see that thing's actually moving or not. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now it's getting, that sounds better. That sounds yeah. like it's wanting to fire. All right. Give you. it a little, just a hair more. I mean, that sounds like we're getting close there. I'm just going to move in little increments yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, it just sounds good, but it's just not quite there. More gas? Give me some gas. Hold on, he's kicking it a little more. Okay, it's a few more, probably another four or five degrees. Fire it up. I'm not seeing the mark now. <laughs> and now it almost seems like it's getting worse. Yeah. Well, here we go with a video. It has to do with a head change on a Boss 302. This is a Ford small block crate motor from Ford, fully forged internals with a B cam. The B cam was a 0.48 inch lift with 1.6 ratio rockers. Not too radical. Um, 50 thousandths duration is 226, both intake and exhaust. One of the heads is here, came with the motor. These are Ford's X302 heads. Also part number 6049, not the best flowing heads, but aluminum. These are pedestal rockers, beehive springs. That's pretty cool. What the new head looks like is an AFR 185 Renegade. These have the upgraded 8019 springs. Again, you can see the casting here. I guess they use one casting for two different types of heads. Um, but whatever these originals are 64 cc chambers these new ones are 58 cc's the idea is to move from a 9 to 1 compression static to about 9.6 here's the undersides again 58 cc versus 64 maybe it's 63 i don't remember the calculated psi cranking compression is 150 with the original heads and 175 with the new AFR heads. Hopefully get some more horsepower due to an increase in dynamic compression as well as flow. The intent at this time is not to change the cam, but I will be going to a 1.7 ratio roller rocker. This motor has about 21,000 hard miles on it. It's been overheated at least once. Blew a head gasket some time ago. There we are, front and front. A little sanity check and recovering the entire lower part of the block deck. Coolant passages, which an OEM 302 head gasket will not do. This is a boss block specific head gasket. Okay, heads are all torqued down in three steps ending at 100 foot pounds. Again, these are one half inch bolts. Okay, now let's set the valve lash or the hydraulic roller lifter preload. We have a crank on the snout. Of course, the battery's been disconnected this entire time. I'm looking at the exhaust 
lifter on the left, waiting for it to come up. Exhaust open, hand cranking the block. Here comes the exhaust open, stop there. We'll set the intake. So I've already cleaned and pre-lubricated with oil, the push rods and lifters. Intake lifter, poly lock with the set screw backed off. We'll set the preload in a moment when I set the camera down, but I should say that I've already pre-adjusted these adjustable push rod guide plates to get the roller lifter centered over the tip of the valve. I also use an adjustable push rod to select the optimum push rod length to get good sweep across the top of the valve stems. Okay, I've hand rotated the motor. So now the intake has just closed. Push rod. Rocker arm. Poly lock set screw backed off. A little bit of lash, drag on the twist, zero lash, half turn, back off about a sixteenth, set screw, get the sixteenth back. Followed by 25 foot pounds. And around we'll go until we're done. Another check I'll do is to pre lube the system by pressurizing the oil pump. Looking for oil to come out the top of the rockers. So let's see what happens. <laughs> for a while, maybe a minute total, but I can see oil coming out of every single rocker on at the top, which is fine. Interestingly, I think this wall is going to cause an issue with uh, maybe valve cover gasket leak. It's a little low, the oil is going to pool there. Okay, while I'm at it, I'm going to set cylinder number one to top dead center because I'll need that to uh, get the distributor in correctly and phased. So I'm watching the lifters and I can see exhaust close, intake open, intake starting to close. This should be the compression stroke and here it is. All that top dead center close to it. You can verify this by looking at the harmonic damper, the timing mark um, there. Okay, here we are, completed reassembly and ready to fire. I've put the number one sonar on top dead center, finger in the spark plug hole trick, crank the snout. Got the distributor to where I want it to fire on number one. And I very carefully labeled the distributor cap in the correct firing order. Simply gonna rewire the spark plugs. Let's see what happens. I suppose it would help if I took off the, uh, whatever that's called. We're good. 
So everybody, we're back here, we're Dave's. We're gonna fire this thing up. Just so you know, we're not gonna lie to you, this was fired up. Um, but the situation was this, is the cap, he never pulled the wires off the cap, um, but all the wires for all the spark plugs were all in the wrong order. So that's why it wouldn't fire up. That's why we're getting flames out of the carburetor. It was kind of crazy, but now it fires right up. He's fired it up, tested it. So we're gonna fire it up again, just so you guys can see it fire up. And then we're gonna go out and drive this thing. We're gonna put the nose on real quick. So uh, yeah, Dave, go ahead. Let's fire this bad boy up. test drive it and uh hopefully with the i doubt we're gonna be able to get into the throttle it's still pretty wet out here probably just gonna be a quick drive we gotta throw the nose on and then i'll try to get this video up in the next couple of days so uh thanks again for watching and hit that subscribe button we're going for a ride we're going to test out these afr 185s as i said we won't be able to get on full throttle because it is pretty damp out here and these thing tires are not going to hook so fire it up